Brian with Black Sea, thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. Today we're going to talk a little bit about relay wiring, how it's incorporated into an electric fan system. My system is electric fan, and I have the Holly Sniper EFI. The EFI allows you to control at what temp your fans come on at from the ECU. In doing so, our wiring's just a little bit different, but it's not complicated. We just want to take the trigger from the Holly Sniper ECU. It's a negative trigger. We're going to run it to a relay. My fan is going to stay grounded, and I'm going to put 12 volts to it. So we're going to take a negative and turn it into a positive. Now I'm going to show you the quick wiring setup on that. All of my wires are down here hidden in the side. I have a relay and uh, that's already mounted here and I'm just finishing up my wiring. But let's take it to the whiteboard real quick and let me show you how you would actually wire one of these relays up. Alright so this is fairly simple at this point. I just wanted to show you here's your relay and here's what we're looking at right. Here's your poles kind of flipped up on its end and what you're seeing A7, A7, A 85, 30, and 86. My Holly Sniper is my fan trigger in this instance. And this is a very simple wiring. I'm just going to show you how to do it. If you're wanting to take a negative trigger, 85 is your trigger. And for me, that's my sniper. And my output is my electric fan. Now my fan's grounded but I want it to get 12 volts in th in this setup and also for like, uh, you know, like I said, an auxiliary light, anything like that. You're going to just kill out 87A altogether and then just power these two up. Very simple, very quick, but, but you want this to be 12 volts, right? So 12 volts to these two, 86 and 30. 85 is your negative trigger, and it's going to turn on your fan. My Holly Sniper ECU is going to send signal when it gets up to temp, and it's going to power up my electric fan with 12 volts. See, that's reasonably simple. It's a quick way to wire it. It's a quick way to get that 12 volts off of a negative trigger. Um, Next steps for me is I'm going to wire this here in just one second. I already have my wires laid out. As you can see, everything, I used uh, bullet connectors, shrink wrap, and then I used one of the pigtails. So my relay is actually already hiding in here. I just need to kind of clean up some of my wiring, make my final connections. And then I use a split nylon braid. But you can just pick that up off Amazon. And I'll tuck it in there, make it look real nice so you can't see it. And at the end of the day, we're going to have another set of panels that come across here, and it'll hide everything. Thanks for joining. It's quick. That's all there is to it on that relay. However, I use relays when I shave door handles is I work them as a backup to roll windows up and down off of uh, negative triggers that come off your alarm or your key list, something of that nature. So we'll get a little bit more into depth on that later. But as of right now, if you wanna hook up a fan, you wanna hook up some lights, that's all it takes. Thanks for swinging by.